suppose you want to hold your robot partner's hands and your robot partner comes forward and uh, just stretches its hands so that you can grasp it. Now, how does your robot partner, how does your love robot uh, guesses your intent? Isn't it? It's a million dollar question. How does it guess your intent? What you want to do? And uh, accordingly, they act. This happens. It's not a very simple process, of course. It's a very complex process. But it mainly happens because of wearable biometric sensors. We, we Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. We are uh, some uh, different types of smartwatch and other things, you, you know. So wearable uh, biometric sensors are revolutionizing this human-robot interactions by capturing real-time physiological data. And this is uh, quite uh, mind-boggling because uh, sensors like uh, electro uh, myography or emg they detect muscle signals for movement intent while uh, electro encephalography or eeg can measure cognitive st states like uh, focus through brain waves so th this is really very complex process of course and through this complex technology like emg or eeg these robots uh, truly knows your exact intent, what you are going to do. Actually, this data provides a direct window into the user's state of mind. And it also helps robots to become truly adaptive partners. That is why robots now become smarter. And not only smarter, they also become more adaptive partners. And of course, in some cases, they replace humans also and in future they will more do that they will more and more replace humans because super intelligence will make them smarter than humans and there are a lot of pros and of course there are cons i must say, admit anyway the system uh, let us come back to our topic the system learns by using machine learning to correlate these complex data patterns with user intent for example a model is trained to recognize the specific uh, EMG signature of a user intending to grasp, okay, intending to grasp a robot's hands, commanding a prosthetic hand to close at that exact moment. This predictive capability allows the technology to anticipate needs and respond appropriately, creating an intuitive collaboration. And more and more, this intuitive collaboration advances, progresses, it will make the robots more smarter, more like humans, and of course, they will more replace human partners. This is pivotal in assistive technologies also, like prosthetics, exoskeletons, and collaborative robots. And if you think from a hardware perspective, it requires sensitive, non-invasive sensors and powerful processors. The software focuses on real-time signal processing to filter noisy biometric data and algorithmically neural networks perform the complex pattern recognition, transferring the user's physiological state into precise commands for the robot's control system. So there are a lot of things going on under the hood, behind the curtain, but overall, altogether, these wearable biometric sensors uh, revolu revolutionized has revolutionized uh, everything especially the human robot interaction and that is true by capturing the real-time physiological data which is really really very complex process so that is it thank you for joining us on this journey let's continue this conversation in the comments below if you like the video please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like with your friends share and subscribe for more insights if you have already subscribed 
tons of thanks for your support it means a lot to me and please consider signing up for membership zone to support wooden slate so that we can make it better and better see you in the next video till then goodbye take care and stay safe